Hi, my name is Myra Cagete and welcome to a new video. Sa araw na ito ay sasagutin ko ang ilan sa mga questions ng aking viewers. The first one is, ano po sa English ang chismosa o chismoso ma'am? Gossip monger ang karaniwang ginagamit ko to refer to someone who is chismoso o chismosa in Filipino. So a gossip monger is someone who loves spreading rumor about other people and their private lives. You can also use the word rumor monger. Rumor monger is more commonly used in British English. Some more related words are blabbermouth, telltale or tattletale, more commonly used to talk about someone who talks too much. Yung tipong hindi niya na matigilan yung bibig niya. Originally, yung blabbermouth, tattletale, or telltale refers to a child who tells an adult or an adult what another child has done wrong. In Filipino, sumbongera. At ang isa pang English word na related sa gossip monger or rumor monger ay nosy. Pero yung word na nosy ay adjective, okay? It is used to describe someone who is too interested in what other people are doing or in other people's affairs. So if you are a nosy person, ibig sabihin ikaw ay isang usisera o usisero. Are you friends with gossip mongers, flabber mouths, tattled tales, or nosy people? Or maybe that's you. Charat. The second one is, Hello, ano po sa English? Ayoko masapawa ng kahit sino. In Filipino, usually, ginagamit natin yung uh, masapawan or manapaw or sapawan to talk about uh, being upstaged by another person or to upstage another person or to outshine another person, okay? So you can use the word upstage. Outshine, overshadow, surpass, or outdo. So, makakpareho lang yung um, ibig sabihin ng mga words na yan. They are synonymous. At lahat sila ay verb. I don't want anyone to upstage me. No one should ever outdo me. Uh-uh. I'm never going to be overshadowed by anyone. No one should ever outshine me. Yes. <laughs> Hi po, how do you say in English, mapag-initan? Usually, ang ginagamit nating phrasal verb to say mapag-initan or pag-initan ng isang tao is to pick on someone. For example, stop picking on me. Mukhang pag-initan. Tigilan mo. Okay. If you pick on someone or if someone picks on you, it means that this person often and unfairly criticizes you or is often unkind to you. You can also say, have it in for someone, okay? That is an idiomatic expression, and it's more commonly used in British English. It's exactly the same with pick on someone. For example, Jenny's new boss has it in for her. Jenny's new boss picks on her. Yung bagong boss si Jenny ay pinag-iinitan siya. I hope that you learned something new today. If you did, please don't forget to click the like button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. I'll see you again next time. Bye!